You're listening to Southeast Radio's Business Matters with thanks to Wexford Insurances. Wexford Insurances. More information at wexfordinsurance.com. I'm joined now by John Warburton, Chief Operations Officer of Dundeal.ie, one of Ireland's most successful online businesses. Thank you very much for joining me this morning, John. Thank you very much for having me. Dundeal has been one of the most successful businesses that have been launched in County Wexford over the last seven years. Tell us how it achieved the success it did to date. Well, I would say I would put that mainly down to our customers. Um, they have been very loyal uh, right from the beginning, 2005, and they seem to shout done deal from the rooftops. When they uh, do a deal on done deal, they will go to the pub on a, on a Friday night and say, hey, listen, did you see the deal I got on done deal? And word spreads very quickly, not just in Wexford, but all over Ireland. So I would say the majority of our success has been through word of mouth from our customers and our what I would call world-class customer service. How many people have done deal employed in Wexford today? We have 10 people employed today. I'm hoping to double that this year, I'm very pleased to say. Over the next five years, I hope we're looking at close closer to 50 or 60 people. So good news for Wexford. And what areas will those people be employed in? There have been a number of different positions. Obviously, we're a technology company, so we'll be looking for developers. But we'll also be looking for business analysts, uh, commercial managers, those kind of positions. But again, as always, customer support will be a number one priority for us. And do you hope to employ those people directly from across the county? Most definitely. Um, We have a number of different hiring processes. But uh, if you look around our offices, you'll see most of the people who work here are directly from County Wexford. How many new adverts are going up on Dundee each month at this point? We currently have, uh, I would say, roughly 100,000 new ads every month. I know that when Dundee started back in May 2005, for the first 13 months, there was no revenue stream. Why was that decision taken? Well, um, first and foremost, uh, Fred and Geraldine Carlson, who are the founders of the company, uh, they really started it in their living room. So, uh, you know, the Internet is a a wonderful medium if you have the experience uh, and both Fred and Jeff have IT backgrounds. So it was quite easy for them to to start it on a part time basis. Uh, You know, that's one of the wonderful things about the Internet. So uh, they had their daytime jobs and they started uh, working uh, part time on done deal. And as uh, the numbers grew, uh, Fred gave up his job. And uh, about uh, a year later, uh, Geraldine uh, likewise gave up her job. But, you know, the main thing was to get to get traction on, on the Internet. So uh, the revenue wasn't important because they actually had part time jobs. So they could actually refund the project using their wages. So uh, and that's what they did. With the phenomenal growth that Dundee.ie has experienced over the last number of years, there must have been major challenges and growing pains associated with that. One of the most important things uh, and most challenging things about uh, any business and growth is the people. It's, I won't say it's an easy process to hire people, but it's an even harder process when you have to hire exactly the right people. Done deal takes uh, a lot of time and puts a lot of effort into finding the right people. It's not just about their technical uh, skills. It's not just about their operational skills, but it's also about who they are as a person. They have to fit into the team. It's a very close-knit team, and working together closely We have to make sure that we choose the right people for for the job. So uh, I would say one of the major things that we had to overcome with growth was getting the right people in uh, to fit the team. I know that there's over 2.6 million unique visitors each month. There must be an issue in relation to fraud associated with some of these visitors. And how do you deal with that? Well, uh, I'm obviously not going to express exactly how we deal with it. We don't want to give the game away. But what I can tell you is over the last uh, two years in particular, we put a lot of time, effort and money into protecting our customers against fraudsters. We're using a very innovative technique. Uh, I wish I could explain it to you, but again, I I really can't. But uh, we've put a lot of time and effort into it. And in relation to search functionality on the site itself, what are you doing to improve that? Well, we've um, last year we really stepped up uh, our filtration systems on the site. Um, 
we started with uh, cars and uh, our animal sections. But as we move forward into 2012, we're definitely going to spend a lot more time and effort on our search functionality in every section across the site. I know that one of the mission statements behind Dundeal is in relation to enhancing the customer's experience. What have you done to provide that? Well, there are, there are a few different things we've done. First of all, we, we have a very innovative uh, customer service function. Um, we deal with our customers as, as much as we can on a friendly one-on-one -on -one basis. Uh, we treat them as uh, a person, not a number. The other things we've done is on the site, uh, it's probably one of the easiest sites in Ireland to use. Uh, we've, we think about not actually adding things to the site, but more taking them away. So the idea is to make the site is simple and easy to use for anybody, regardless of, of age. And uh, we have uh, customers from the age of five <laughs> up until the age of 95. The site is very, very easy to use. And as we move forward, keeping that simplicity, as well as using innovative techniques, is the thing that we want to focus on. I suppose with the success of Dundeal.ie, it has brought an awful lot of other incumbent players into the market in relation to pro providing free online classified ad sites. Uh, do you feel any of those are a threat in the future to Dundeal.ie? Well, I, I think we just we focus on what we do best, uh, and I think that's the best way to deal with competition. Uh, competition is always healthy, and you know it usually provides uh, rewards for customers, which is always good. But um, the quality of the product is the most important thing. We want to make sure when people place an ad on done deal that it's sold and, and that's the most important thing. They need to be buying good products at good prices. The seller has to make sure that their goods are being sold. Now in relation to social media, I know that on deal that I have been very, very successful in utilizing all social media platforms to develop your own business in a very innovative way. Yeah, I mean, we took uh, a very strategic view if you will, on social media. Um, we decided right from the forefront that social media was going to be important. Where we have uh, employed a dedicated social media person, something that not a lot of small companies will do. Uh, Donna Spellacy uh, handles our social media functions, Facebook, Twitter, our blog, newsletters, etc. Her focus has always been, though, on the customer and supplying a, a good experience for them. Uh, it's never, ever been about sales. It, it's not a sales function and never it sh should it be con uh, considered a sales function. So we believe that giving feedback to our customers, listening to our customers and providing a forum for that is, is important. And social media is a brilliant tool to do that. With an increase in the amount of smartphone users accessing the web through their phones, what has Dundeal done to secure that market? When we look at uh, all kinds of innovation and technology, the, the main thing is we have a very simplistic site. So when we employ new technologies, we want to keep them the same way. So when I look at a, a, a tablet or a, an iPhone or a, an Android phone, to me, it's just another window into our business. So what we do is we, we, we use the same methodology methodologies we do on the website we keep it simple we keep it safe and we make it easy to use so all of our products as we go f forward we currently have an iphone we have uh, an android uh, product and we will have an ipad product later this year and they are all employed in the same way simple safe easy to use what's the vision over the next three to five years the main thing is to not to forget where we came from not to forget our customers. Yes, there will be new uh, products ava available on the site. There'll be new sections. But the main thing is don't forget what made us successful. The site is simple and easy to use. We have to make sure we keep it simple and easy to use. As new technologies come along, as new opportunities come along, we will take advantage of them. We hope that the, the growth we're experiencing at Dun in Dundee continues. Uh, we will look uh, at new markets. Uh, in particular, we're looking at Northern Ireland at the moment. But again, uh, our customers are very quick to give us feedback. When they're, when they're looking for something new, they will tell us. And we take that on board and we try to produce a product that will support that.
John, the internet has been recognized as the single biggest area for new business startups. What advice would you give to anyone today that would be considering starting a business online? Firstly, I'd say um, don't rush into it. Uh, do a lot of analysis and a lot of market research on the product you intend to, or service you intend to sell. Listen to people who've done it before. Get as much advice and help as you can. Uh, talk to people like the Wexford Enterprise Board, the Chamber. Uh, look for mentors, uh, people who can give you good feedback. Do a business plan. Put as much detail into it as you can. Get as much feedback as you can on that. Then start your project. Once you've started your project, uh, some of the tools I, I would look at are Google AdWords. Um, it's a very good, uh, easy-to-use marketing tool. It's very scalable, so you can start small and end up big. Yes, you can spend a lot of money using Google AdWords, but I would say it gives you good return on your investment. The other thing I would say is look very carefully at your customer service functions. Don't make the mistake that a lot, a lot of businesses do in just focusing on sales. Focus on your customer services because your customers will be the biggest sellers of your product than you can ever spend on marketing. Then look at the people. Hire the right people. Take a lot of time. Put a lot of effort into finding the right people that will be advocates for your company. Not just people who work there. They have to be people who are driven by the same goals that you are. And lastly, have fun. Thanks, John. You're listening to Southeast Radio's Business Matters with thanks to Wexford Insurances. Wexford Insurances, number one for business insurance in County Wexford.